Well, good morning to you on this Independence Day. Peace be with you. Prayer book, page 78. Send out your light and your truth that they may lead me and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. The Inventory and Psalter, Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Today, let's continue with the Jubilate. There at the bottom of page 82. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Ah, good stuff. All right, turn back to page 800. <coughs> Excuse me. Page 800. And there on page 100, 800, 800, we'll say together Psalm 144. Page 800, Psalm 144. Blessed be the Lord my rock. He trains my hands to fight and my fingers to battle. My help and my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust who subdues the people under me. O Lord, what are we that you should care for us, mere mortals that you should think of us? We are like a puff of wind, and our days are like a passing shadow. Bow you, your heavens, O Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains, and they shall smoke. Hurl the lightning and scatter them. Shoot out your arrows and rout them. Stretch out your hand from on high. Rescue me and deliver me from the great waters, from the hand of foreign peoples, whose mouth speak deceitfully, and whose right hand is raised in falsehood. O oh God, I will sing to you a new song. I will play to you on a ten-string lyre. You give victory to kings and have rescued David your servant. Rescue me from the hurtful sword. And deliver me from the hand of foreign peoples whose mouths speak deceitfully, whose right hand is raised in falsehood. May our sons be like plants well nurtured from their youth, and our daughters like sculptured corners of a palace. May our bar barns be filled to overflowing with all manner of crops. May the flocks of our pastures increase by thousands and tens of thousands. May our cattle be fat and sleek. Be, may there be no bleaching of the walls, no going into exile, no wailing in the public squares. Happy are the people of whom this is so. Happy of the people whose God is the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Well, we continue in Numbers, 
with Mr. Bollock and Mr. Balaam. One moment here, let me scroll up. We're continuing numbers. And Balaam said to Balak, Did I not tell your messengers whom you sent me? If Balak should give me his house full of silver and gold, I would not be able to go beyond the word of the Lord, to do either good or bad of my own will. What the Lord says, that is what I will say. So now, I am going to my people. Let me advise you what this people will do to your people in days to come. And this is Balaam's uh, fourth prophecy. So he, Balaam, uttered this oracle, saying, The oracle of Balaam, son of Peor, the oracle of the man whose eye is clear, the oracle of one who hears the words of God and knows the knowledge of the Most High one who sees the vision of the Almighty, falls down, but with eyes uncovered. I see him, but not now. I behold him, but not near. A star shall come out of Jacob, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel, and it shall crush the borderland of Moab and the territory of all the Shethites. Then Balaam got up and went back to his place, and Balak also went his way. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So our first canticle is there on page 88, Canticle 12, Section 3, The People of God. Canticle 12. Section 3, across the page, 89. Canticle 12, Section 3, The People of God. Together, please. Let the people of God glorify the Lord, praise Him, and highly exalt Him ever. Glorify the Lord, O priests and servants of the Lord, praise Him, and highly exalt Him forever. Glorify the Lord, O spirits and souls of the righteous, Praise him and highly exalt him forever. You that are holy and humble of heart, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. So our second reading is the book of Romans. Paul says this, I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing to the glory that is to be revealed to us. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revelation of the children of God. For the creation was subjected to futility, not of its own will, but by the will of the one who subjected it, in hope that the creation itself will be set free from its bondage to decay and will obtain the freedom of the glory of the children of God. Great phrase for the 4th of July. Will obtain the freedom of the glory of the children of God. We know that the whole creation has been groaning in labor pains until now. And not only the creation, but we, ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, groan inwardly while we wait for adoption the redemption of our bodies. This is important. For in hope we were saved. Now, hope is that, excuse me, now hope that is seen is not hope. For who hopes for what is seen? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So we're on Canticle 19, page 94. Canticle 19 on page 94. Page 94, Canticle 19. Together, please. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, greater they 
Great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O King of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and to sing praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. So our third lesson is from the Gospel of Matthew. When the Pharisees heard that he, Jesus, had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together. And one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question to test him. Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the greatest commandment. And the second is like to it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Who loud? One moment, please. Are you not glad you're not Balak? I mean, Balaam's prophecies left him hopeless as to his future and the future of his kingdom. Not a good time to be a king. There in verse 25 at the end of the Old Testament says it all. Then Balaam got up and went back to his place. When Balak got up and went on his way. Done. Nothing else. No more. That's it. The Romans lesson uses the word hope six times and encourages us to wait patiently for that which we hope for, whether we can see it or not. Now, my favorite definition of hope is confident expectation. We're expectant and we have confidence in what we expect. We have a confident expectation. The tricky part of hope is always who or what is our hope based on? Who or what, upon who or what, do we base, found, establish our hope? Balak's hope, the king, was based upon Balaam, the prophets, cursing his enemies. Our hope, confidence, courage, expectation, optimism needs to be founded upon a source that is worthy of all that we bring to it, all the hope that we bring to it. Not wishing hope, confident expectation. Now, this is especially true when the things that we usually base our hope upon seem a little shaky. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all are familiar with the old hymn that begins, My hope is based on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. Now, that's a foundation for hope. May I suggest, that especially in these anxious, apprehensive times, that sharing our hope, our hope, with our neighbor is a powerful way to love our neighbor as ourself. If you have a confident expectation, no matter what's going on around you, 
share it with your neighbor. Share that confidence, that stability with a neighbor. Now here's a curious thing. When we share our hope, when we give our hope away, we never run out of hope. Amen. We are page 96, the Apostles' Creed. Page 96, the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Excuse me. And today we'll use the more contemporary Lord's Prayer on the right there. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial. Deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Turn over to Suffrages B, there on page 98. Save your people, O Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. And you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. Collect for this week, proper eight, Sunday closes to June 29th. Almighty God, you have built your church upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. Grant us so to be joined together in the unity of the spirit by their teaching that we may be made a holy temple acceptable to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. I want to take you, first of all, to page 242. There on page 242 is the collect for Independence Day. Page 242. If we could be together today and have a service, this would be the collect of the day. There at the top of page 242, the collect for Independence Day. Lord God Almighty, in whose name the founders of this country won liberty for themselves and for us, and lit the torch of freedom for nations then unborn, grant that we and all the people of this land may have grace to maintain our liberties in righteousness and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let's turn back. Excuse me, I'm turning pages here. To page 823. Page 823. There on page 823 on this 4th of July. Let's pray collect number 25. 
for those in the armed forces of our country. Almighty God, we commend to your gracious care in keeping all the men and women of our armed forces at home and abroad. Defend them day by day with your heavenly grace. Strengthen them in their trials and temptations. Give them courage to face the perils which beset them. And grant them a sense of your abiding presence wherever they may be. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now turn back to the right again to page 833. Page 833. If we are to be a united states, if we are to be united, we need to pray our way into it. And there, Collect 62, a prayer for, uh, attributed to St. Francis, Collect number 62, good place to start. Let's pray that together, especially on this 4th of July for our unity. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console. To be understood as to understand. To be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Now turning back to page 100, page 100, <clears throat> in fact let's turn top of page 101, mission colic number three, the top of page 101. Lord Jesus Christ, who stretched out your arms of love on the hardwood of the cross, that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you. For the honor of your name. Amen. So what's on your mind, gang? What's on your heart, y'all? Mine is our nation this day, in its unity especially. Y'all pray what's on your heart. I'm going to pray what's on my heart. Lord, I thank you that I live in the most successful social experiment in history. I thank you, Lord, that we lead the world history in the most peaceful transitions of government in the history of the world. Lord, thank you that I can look forward to praying for whoever's running and whoever's elected with the confidence that if we maintain our confidence in you, it won't take tanks in the street to transition government it is simply to say who was elected. It's amazing that in the frailties of human nature that we can do this so well. And Lord, I ask that blessing. And Lord, I ask that we would be as appreciative of the riches, not just the stuff, or the money, but the riches of freedom that we enjoy here. Lord, I ask that we would be as aware of the riches of our freedom as immigrants are when they are drawn to those riches of freedom that they come here. Year after year, decade after decade, century after century. I thank you, Lord, that my first Ancestors came here in 1643 looking for something better than in Prussia. Lord, make us grateful to you for what we have and how we live in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's go to the general thanksgiving, y'all. 
Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we are unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our pre creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for the immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be all honor and glory. Ages of ages, amen. A prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make a common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth. In the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. See y'all tomorrow.